It was a great weekend for Liverpool, who pulled clear in the title race. And he's running away from the penalty area. He's got options to his left. He gets into the box. Does he square it? No, doesn't need to. He gets it instead. And he sends Liverpool five points clear at the top of the Premier League. Hopefully we can keep this the same for the upcoming weeks and months to go because the fixture list is only going to get um, harder and harder. The bolt from the blue for Chelsea. Pedro Neto has levelled it up in this London derby. It is Chelsea 1, Arsenal 1. There is something missing and probably it is missing something that the team is not fully equipped physically in the best possible condition to play consistently. Street is made, Pep loses his fourth game in a row for the first time in his career. First time in 18 years that City have lost four in a row. If someone would like to beat us, that is going to happen. But in the next 50 years, we're not going to win all the Premier Leagues, right? So it's impossible. Yeah. A lot of the supporters went on this morning. There's another one on Agent 706. No name, Agent 706. But I've got to say, to you, Andy and I, I think you're a Southampton fan. Andy and I are in agreement totally oh, yeah. with a disallowed goal. Uh, look, and, Poor and, decision. And, and uh, honestly, Ali, I do think for v- if VAR, and it will be here for the long haul, um, I honestly, genuinely feel at some point, now how you integrate an, an ex player or an ex player or two into that, uh, uh, into that conversation that goes on when those big moments happen. Yeah. But. There are little things that happen in and around most goals that you, that, See, that referees miss and you and I would spot. Yeah. And that we know is a foul and that we know is an infringement and that we know that it See, shouldn't have allowed. Where, where I am, Andy, what baffles me, right? I'm under, I'm, I'm under the impression, maybe wrongly, that they're only supposed to get involved if the referee's made a clear and obvious error. Yeah. He hadn't, he hadn't made an error. Never mind a clear and obvious one. No. No, well, again, because every goal... So that's somebody a, else refereeing the game. Because it's a goal and it, everything is obviously got to be checked. It's yeah. got to be checked. And then they see something in there and then they start to, unfortunately, find ways to maybe uh, uh, chalk some of these goals off. But I thought Russell Martin's men were really harshly done by there. I thought Samedo stepped across yeah. and, and, and stuck, stuck his leg in there and initiating a bit of contact. Down he goes and he got away with it. Nope. He got away with it. Listen, Wolves have had a few... Plenty of tough ones. You better believe them. they have. They've you better believe horrors, they have, haven't they? Probably more than most. To yeah, tell you the truth. they have. To be fair, but they have. Definitely got a wee little one there. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, Andy, Liverpool extended their lead at the top of the Premier League with thanks to a two-nil home win against uh, Villa on Saturday night. Meanwhile, the tough times for City continued as they were beaten two-one away at Bright- uh, Brighton, fourth consecutive defeat, which is incredible. First time Pep Guardiola has lost four straight games in his seventeen-year managerial career and a great weekend for Liverpool was rounded off with Arsenal dropping points away at Chelsea and also put it the other way about a great weekend for Liverpool with Chelsea dropping points at Arsenal meaning Arna Slots Reds are now five points clear of City nine points clear of Arsenal at the top of the table and he was asked about the gap um, at the weekend It's always nice to have uh, the amount of points that we have but we don't look at it that much and how much points the other team uh, have because uh, City has shown the last few seasons, if I'm correct, last season they were eight points behind at a certain moment so they've shown that they can win almost every game Uh, and now they maybe lost one or two but it's not a complete surprise if you go to uh, Brighton that it's a difficult game because we had a very good difficult game last week here at home against Brighton as well. So margins are small. The only thing we try to do is play our best game, work as hard as we can, and get the most, uh, get the best results in as possible. Yeah, zero three seven one seven double two double three double four. That's know, the number to call. Yeah, please. We want to hear from you, Liverpool yeah. fans. How confident you are of your team's chances to to not only maintain their lead at the top, but to go on and and clinch another Premier League trophy. Ali, their fixtures coming up, right? So after the international break, Southampton away, then Real Madrid. They've got. Right, in the Champions League. You're probably doing that. I'm doing that. You'll be doing that. Right. Then Man City at home in the league. Then Newcastle away. Wow. Then then the Merseyside derby. Right. Girona away from home. Fulham at home. Southampton away. Fulham, baby. Yeah, in the League Cup. Southampton away. That obviously can change change the, the numbers there. And then Spurs just before Christmas, 22nd of December. So, I mean, they've got some proper fixtures there, Liverpool coming up. And that squad, as good a squad as they have, and he's, Arna Slot is going to have to manage all them them games as well as he possibly can. But that is some, 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 some fixture that's coming up. there, isn't it? Well, let, let's, let's that take this opportunity to, to ask a Liverpool fan. David's given us a call this morning. David, good morning. 
Good morning, how are you? Well, well, David, thanks for taking the time to call us this morning. You've heard Andy there, some fantastic fixtures coming up. That said, what a position you're in at this early stage of the season? Well, I mean, this is what everyone was saying, kind of, seven, seven fixtures before, where, you know, we had Arsenal, we had all these fixtures, and look, we've come through. Um, I do think, obviously, listen, it's, it's, of course it's still too early to call. However, I feel like there's two weeks after that international break where we play Man City. If we can go into that, five points clear, knowing if we win, we can go eight points clear, then I think it's ours to lose. I feel like if we can be eight points clear ahead of them, nine ahead of Arsenal, then if, if we don't kind of win it from there, it's, I will be extremely disappointed. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I feel like if it's not if it's not now, it's, ne- it's never going to be, if that makes sense. What do you think of the form of Salah? Defensively, you've been sound, but I've got to say, I mentioned it earlier, David, Salah, I mean, it's difficult to pick MD out in the team at the, at the moment, but Salah, I think it's 10 goals, 10 assists in 17 matches. Incredible return. Oh, it, honestly, he is. I, I can't even, like... I don't even know what to say anymore about him. It's not just the fact what he does to score goals and assists, it's his work off the ball. Everything he does, just it just shows he's a typical Liverpool player. Like He is everything that we as Liverpool fans love, just the way he is off the pitch, on the pitch. And I'm just begging you, please, please, give him what he wants. Please. He's irreplaceable, I'm begging you. If he wants 500 grand a week, give it to him. It's two, three-year deal. Please keep him. Do not let him go. Don't be naive and think you can do better because he's free. Doesn't matter. He's the best winger in the world right now. End of. David, hard to, hard to yeah. argue with a lot of what you say there, pal, he, because he is so significant for your team, so good. His numbers are consistent. Um, he, as Ali has mentioned earlier, physically, he's a specimen. He oh, looks in, unbelievable, Nick. It doesn't seemingly, and I don't want to, and I'm touching Woody as I say this, you don't get him, he's durable, yeah. Ali, plays more often yeah. than not, doesn't he? Do you know, that's what I always admired about Ronaldo and Messi over these years where those two dominated the game in terms of being the very best. They played every minute of every game if they could. And, and, and. Don't they turn up for the work. That's what I call it. You yeah. turn up for your work. And, and, and Mo Salah is sort of cut from a similar cloth in the sense of that. That, that he's he's out there more often than not and that I think is a testament to the way he looks after of course himself. Yes. and it's your desire as an individual you want to be out there more often than not you want to keep playing don't 100%, you? 100% mate another man that's going to be delighted I imagine with the weekend is Mark who's a Liverpool fan Mark good morning good morning Ali nice, uh, nice of you to call us mate thanks very much for your time this morning what do you think yeah. I mean the, the big question mark obviously well, we're all sitting to wait and see how Arna Slot effect, effectively would, would, would do the job himself but by the way his team and himself have been a breath of fresh air haven't they? Absolutely and as a lot of non Liverpool fans say to me as soon as Klopp leaves Liverpool can be a mid-table team what they forget is that when the manager normally leaves the club's normally in crisis he's coming in a, with a position of strength mm. and 50 years ago we had a legend leave our club after winning a cup Mr. Bill Shankly, yep. Bob Paisley came in, our most successful manager in our history. Mm-hmm. And the good thing about Slot is he's not getting carried away. He still says there's lots of things we need to improve. There are other teams that do some things far better than we do. And we're always looking to improve. He's not getting carried away. What's impressed you most and what changes have you seen in Slot's team to Klopp's team, uh, Mark? Less, less frenetic. You know, it's, more, it's less gung-ho. <laughs> it's less heavy metal football. A bit more considered, um, and I love I love his, his English as well. He, he communicates really well when he speaks mm, to the yeah, press. Yeah, definitely he does speak well. You know, definitely, yeah, yeah. And, and also, you know, how do you replace a man like Klopp? I was devastated. Love the man Klopp. You know, he was he was a breath of fresh air. Mark, just tell me a little bit. Curtis Jones obviously looks like he's been playing very well, and he scored, you know, some good goals for 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 the team just recently. He appears to have just sort of muscled in in front of Shabozla a little bit at the moment. Yeah. Um, but again, I think credit to the manager. He's prepared to stick with those that are playing well and those that are in form and others are going to have to wait and get on with it. But he's using the squads. If you look at Arsenal, they've got a lot of injuries, but I think Arsenal's squad isn't particularly big. You know, they sack a players nearly every game if he's fit. Whereas if you look at what Arnie does, he, he rests players in midfield. I think really it's only Kinate and Van Dijk who pretty much play every game if they're fit. And, um, you know, he, he mixes around the, the midfield. He changes the forward line. You know, we've got, I would say, the most... Pre- ignoring Haaland, because obviously Haaland's 
an amazing striker. I think we've got the most potent strike force in the country. Mm, yeah. Definitely I would think option-wise, I think, Mark, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.